it's all you never saw Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born Straightening the curves Flattening the hills Someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will Making their way That's just a little bit more than the law will allow Just a good old boy Wouldn't change if they could Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood tends to stand still here, and that's just the way we like it. This is Bo and Luke Duke. They're cousins. And the car they're driving is none other than the General Lee. The General Lee is one of Hazard's most famous landmarks. Well, it would be if the land could do about 120 miles an hour. You see, the General is one of the fastest cars this side of Daytona. And folks, that's out on the coast. Right now, the Duke boys are breaking in a rebuilt engine in order to get the general ready for the upcoming Hazard County Overland Race. Yee-haw! The general is running smoother than molasses on the 4th of July. You got that right, cousin. Cooter sure has outdone himself this time. Hey, Luke, let's see how she does against the jumping skunk river. All right. First, let's warm him up a little bit more. Take us into the fairground, see what the general can do.
lost sheep. Crazy cooter, lost sheep. Y'all got the ears on? Hey, y'all, I just seen two hombres with ski masks and mean-looking pistols climbing into Uncle Jesse's truck. All right, old man. Scoot over. We're going for a ride. Now, just hold on, son. You be careful where you point that thing. Well, it seems the Hazard County Bank was just robbed. Now, folks, you can be sure that old Boss Hogg is going to find some way to blame this on the Dukes. Roscoe, what kind of sheriff are you? They're getting away with my money. Well, don't just stand there, numbskull. They're getting away. Don't you worry, chubby little buddy. I'll catch them, Dukes, or my name isn't Roscoe. Go P. Coltrane. Well, your name is Mud if I don't get my money. Keep a pedal to the metal in your gown down. I'm gone. They took off out of town going north on Highway 126. I'm heading towards Fossil Creek to cut them off. We'll meet you there. Turn left up here. Let's get out of here. Let's go get them, Bo.
out of here. Now, hold on, boys. You gotta get the mortgage payment to the bank by four o'clock or we'll lose the farm. Yes, sir. Turn left up here. Watch it, Paul. Freeze! Roscoe, we ain't got time for this. Well, y'all gonna make time. Or should I say, due time? You are all under arrest! Under arrest? For what? On account of robbing the Hazard County Bank. Uh, Mr. Hogg, Sheriff, did the masks look like the ones on the guys in my patrol car? I just arrested these fellas, and I got the money right here. First things first, our mortgage payment. Right on time. My money! Ain't it nice to see someone being reunited with their loved one? Boy, we sure got it close yesterday. Any later, you know Boss wouldn't have thought twice about wrapping his fingers around Uncle Jesse's farm. Let's just win the Overland race and pay off the farm once and for all. Yeah, but we better get going or we miss the sign up.
boys better get up here to the fairgrounds fast. I'll try to keep them busy at the sign-up table. She's right, Bo. We best get a move on. Better hurry up or we ain't gonna make it. Sure could use a little nitro about now. Turn left up here. The best drivers in the county showed up to qualify for the Great Hazard County Overland Race. It's about time you two made it. I couldn't stall them much longer. Crossing the finish line in record time was none other than Buzz Kilmore in the Double Zero. As some of you folks may know, the Double Zero is the only car ever to beat the General Lee in an overland race. All right, all we gotta do is beat that qualifying time to be in the race. Yeah, but it sure would be nice to beat the winning time and get that pole position away from Buzz.
run out of kayak. you, but I don't like the looks of this fella. There are three things that folks in Hazard have come to expect to see every day. Bo and Luke driving the General Lee. Miss Tisdale making the mail delivery, and Boss Hog counting his money. He's on his way back from collecting his cut from the coffin works. Now, here come some boys aiming to ask Boss for a bit of a donation. Wow! What's going on? Get me out of here! Roscoe, come in! I need help! I'm being hijacked! Out there, swamp. Maybe they're headed that way. Dang it, Bo. We gotta hit them off. Make tracks to Hazard. We'll be right behind you. Roscoe, if you got your ears on, we'll be in town in about five minutes.
careful, Luke. You're gonna want to turn left up here. Turn left up here. Turn left up here. Roscoe, arrest the Duke boys. Arrest, arrest us? us? Arrest them? But, boss, I thought the well, you thought wrong. This whole thing was instigated by the Dukes to get their hands on my money. Boss, we saved your hide back there. How could we be in on it? Yeah, if it wasn't for us, you'd be sitting at the bottom of a ditch. Bosh, they do have a point. Not as sharp as the one on your head. With the Duke boys in jail, numbskull, they won't be able to drive in the race tomorrow. Oh! Oh! Margaret, you Dukes! You have the right to remain silent! Good hoot! <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Police work is my life. Not wanting the boys to sit in jail, Daisy, Uncle Jesse, and Cooter rustled up the bail. All right, let's go get the general out of the impound yard. We can... Did you boys see what I just saw? I was hoping I was seeing things. Daisy, can we borrow your jeep? Yeah, sugar, now go get them. We need to see where they take the general. Bo, Luke, y'all oh, better be him? careful with my jeep. I don't want it ending up like last time. Get that nitro, Luke. We gotta stay with him, Luke. Get that nitro, Luke.
on it, Luke? Turn left up there, Luke. really did a job on the engine. The general ain't going anywhere without a tow. Uh, Luke, that's the least of our troubles. Oh, we get caught with this stuff, we'll be put under the jail. Come on, we can dump it at Old Mill Pond.
That's the last of it. Just in time. Hey, Enos. You gonna do a little fishing? While Cooter works on the General back at his garage, a boy and Luke have borrowed his truck to pick up some parts at the Hazard County Junkyard. Boys, y'all make sure to take it easy on my poor old truck and just go to the junkyard, get the parts I need, and come back. No daredevil in. Don't worry, Cooter. Got Mr. Daytona here riding shotgun. I hear you, buddy, Rope. Hey, y'all be careful. Them brakes on that old thing are getting a little bit squirrely, you know? 10 4 on that, Cooter. We're down and gone. Luke, we've got company. We can't outrun them, but maybe we can stay ahead and lose them in the junkyard.
to stay ahead of them, cousin. Let's find those parts and see if we can have some fun with those boys. There's one of the parts we need ahead. Got him off our backs for a little bit. I ain't sure we can beat him back to hand. We got two doors out of here. We gotta get back before noon to give Cooter enough time to fix the general. It's your call, cousin. Yeah, let's do it. Luke, we need to make it back to Cooters by noon. The onlyest thing faster in Hazard than Bo driving the General is Cooter fixing the General. Now they're really cutting it close. They only got about 10 minutes before the race starts without them. All righty, cousin, let's get to the race on time.
out of time. Watch it, Bo. You're gonna want to turn left up here. Folks from all over turned out to see the big race. Looks like everyone in Hazard, well, almost everyone, boss wouldn't let Daisy off work at the boar's nest. And Enos decided to keep her coming. Ain't no flies on that boy. Where are you, boys?
shooting your coot. Hey, Jeff Roscoe, Uncle Jesse, anybody got your ears on? Somebody come back, please, ding, dang it! Amos, this is Jesse. Uncle Jesse, I couldn't do anything. They got to jump on me. Oh, slow down, son. Now, what's the matter? Uncle Jesse, some men came to the boar's nest. First, they cleaned out the cash register, and then Mr. Hawk's safe. Then what? They kidnapped Daisy. They tied me up, and I couldn't help her. Uncle Jesse, I'm so sorry. Did you get a look at them? No, sir, they wore ski masks. I did manage to see the getaway car. It was a black 57 Chevy. Venus? Is there anything I painted on that car? Yes, sir, there was. It, it had a spade on the hood and lightning bolts on the side. Black Jack Carroll. Who? Boys, this is a long story. Who's this Black Jack Peril? The question should be, who was Black Jack Peril? Story goes back about 35 years. Black Jack, J.D., and I were three of the fastest drivers in Hazard. What are you up to, Jack? What did you want to meet for? I've got a little job lined up for us. What kind of job? Well, let's just say it's a surprise. Well, out with it. <laughs> no way, boys. You want in? You gotta beat me to the county line. What? I'm gone, boys. See you there. You boys best keep up if you want to find out about this job. <laughs> find out what the job is. Jesse. J.D., you didn't do too bad either. All right, Jack. What kind of job do you have lined up? Foot. No time for talking here, boys. We got a rendezvous in Chickasaw County in 10 minutes, or there won't be no job. Follow me and keep up.
You want us to haul that? You got a problem, Jesse? You know what the problem is. If we get caught with that, they'll lock us up and throw away the key. Jesse, hauling this stuff will make you more money than you've made all summer. How much? J.D. Jack, we're leaving. Look, we've got to do this, Jesse. I owe somebody. Jack, have you been gambling again? Jack didn't have much of a case. He came to J.D. and me and asked us to lie for him. 
I told him I wouldn't lie under oath. And that was the last time we spoke. Old J.D., on the other hand, got in a little trouble with the law at about the same time and turned state's evidence. Jack was sentenced to 30 years at the state prison. About 10 years back, Jack escaped. They say he died out in the swamp, but they never found the body. From the sound of things, though, it looks like he made it. I guess he never forgave me or J.D. for not helping him out. Leave $20,000 on the Big Oak Stump at Possum Holler by 3 p.m. tomorrow, or you'll never see Daisy again. Now, I hate that. Well, boys, looks like we're gonna have to hand over your winnings. J.D., you got something to say? I had the race winnings in my safe. Great. Wait a minute. What if we could find Blackjack's hideout? Maybe we could surprise him. So what do you think, Uncle Jesse? Well, there's no telling what Jack might be up to. Where do you think he could be a-hiding, J.D.? Well, the obvious place is Possum Hollow. No one goes near there anymore. But I doubt he'd have us drop off the money at his front door. He could also be down at Pickford or the Mason Mines, or even up on Razorback Ridge. All right. Maybe we shouldn't have everybody out gallivanting around. Me and Bo look into Possum Hollow and Razorback Ridge. Roscoe, you and Enos check out Pickford and Mason Mines, and be quiet about it. Are you kidding? I don't take orders from no Duke boys. Roscoe! Black Jack Perils got my money! Sheriff, please. They got Daisy. All right, Enos, we'll check out Pickford and the Mason Mines. Bo and Luke, you boys check out Possum Hollow and Razorback Ridge. And don't worry, Russ, cold B. Coltrane always gets his man. And I'm not kidding. Coming at you. Hey, y'all, Duke boys. Listen up now. I got some dynamite stashed behind the building up in Possum Holland. I got a funny feeling that y'all are gonna need it. We better lose these guys before we get the dynamite from Possum Hollow. Sheep to Shepherd, Lost Sheep to Shepherd, come in. Lost Sheep Taxi Shepherd, what did you find? We got him, Razorback Ridge. We ain't gonna waste no time though. We're gonna see if we can find Daisy. I hear you, Lost Sheep. Help is on the way. Be careful, cousin. These fellas mean business. Watch 
simple. Looks like the Duke boys finally have the upper hand. I don't know, though. Old Blackjack just might have an ace up his sleeve. Looking for us, boys? <laughs> Guess he never said you had such a pretty little cousin. You better not touch her, you hear? Blackjack, we radioed in your position. The law's on its way. You might as well give up. I'm plenty familiar with Hazard's Law. I'll take my chances. If that car is half as fast as Jesse says, we're gonna have a hard time catching up. Don't worry, dude. The General's up to it. Stay with him, Bo. We gotta get Daisy. Don't lose him, Bo.
Magic Ball. Turn left up here. Well, well. How do, boys? Jack Peril, you let that girl go this instant. It's good to see you too, Jesse. And hello, J.D. Looks like you've done right well by yourself. Uh, no, Jack. I, I haven't done that well for myself. No, not at all. In fact, that, that money you stole didn't even belong to me. It uh, belonged to uh, the orphans. Jack, why did you come back? Good old-fashioned revenge, Jesse. Now pull those cars out of the way or Miss Daisy here gets it. Are you still a betting man, Mr. Peril? What's the game, boy? I'll bet that General Lee here can beat your old heat back to town. This here's a fool's bet, Jesse. Yeah, but are you foolish enough to take it, Jack? Stakes? Well, how about this? You win, you keep all the money, and provided you let Daisy go, I'll hand over the farm. If the boys here win, you give us Daisy back and turn yourself in. No funny business. Just the ace of spades here against that orange bucket. Just a straight overland race. Rockdale Road to Walnut Junction and back to town. Just you and the boys. Ridge Runner's Honor. J.D. Oh, all right. Ridge Runner's Honor. Ridge Runner's Honor. On your mark, get set, go! Stay with him, Bo. We gotta get Daisy. It's been fun, honey, but I got a date with the county line. Go get him! Don't worry about me!
Don't lose them both. Watch it, Bo. My sunglasses back there somewhere. As Hazard Luck would have it, as soon as old Bo and Luke finished up with the hard work of catching Blackjack, Roscoe and Enos showed up to take the credit. But at least things turned out all right. Blackjack got a free ride back to jail, Boss got his money, a big chunk of which he had to turn over to the Duke boys for winning the Overland race. The Duke boys, of course, gave it right back to pay off the mortgage on Uncle Jesse's farm. Boss would, of course, cry a little when he figured out how much interest he had lost on that mortgage. But the good thing was Uncle Jesse had his farm. As for Bo and Luke, they just keep on doing what they do best. Folks, despite all the excitement, don't a happy ending just kind of leave a lump in your throat? Don't you have no respect for the obese? 
is, don't you have no respect for the obese? Listen, my little fat buddy. You know what's gonna happen, don't you? I'm gonna cuff you and stuff you. <laughs> you just, listen, I'll cuff you and stuff you. All right, buckle up for safety, Flash. <laughs> We're in hot pursuit. God, I love hot pursuit. Oh, I love hot pursuit. <laughs> Come here, Flash. Come to Daddy, and I'll give you some doggy num nums. Hey, boss, you hear the velvet ears? <laughs> She's riding in the car. Because she always buckles up for safety. Look, she's even got her little helmet. Her ears are hanging out, though. That'll scuff them if we have a horrendous crash. Woo! Boy, that was a horrendous crash. Oh, I love it. I'm in hot pursuit. All right. Hang on. Here we go. As for Bo and Luke, well, they just keep on doing what they do best. If you can figure that out. Over and out. I'm gone. Over and out. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Over and out. Hey, she's drunk. Oh, be cold train. Your superior officer speaking. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, get out of your vehicle. Listen, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Oh, I love it, I love it. Police work is my life. <laughs> velvet ears. Look at little baby velvet ears. Oh, some, this one's some doggy num nums. Well, I had them. No, I don't have them no more. Well, it's just that the... Uh, this... Enos! You dipstick! Enos! This, I'm your superior officer. This is your superior officer speaking. You just, you just get there and do it. Yeah, cuff him and stuff him. This boss, hey, you, 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 this little chrome dome. You, you, uh, this, this. Enos! Don't you have no respect for the obese? Enos, don't you have no respect for the obese? Listen, my little fat buddy. <laughs> You know what's gonna happen, don't you? I'm gonna cuff you and stuff you. <laughs> Come on. You just, listen, I'll cuff you and stuff you. All right, buckle up for safety, Flash. <laughs> We're in hot pursuit. God, I love hot pursuit. Oh, I love hot pursuit. <laughs> Come here, Flash. Come to Daddy, and I'll give you some doggy num nums. Hey, boss? Here's the velvet ears. She's riding in the patrol car with me because she always wants